with the kids heading back to school, you know they come straight home from class, they go straight for the fridge, and getting them to eat healthy can be a challenge. But that's where our next guest comes in. Author of Italian Cookbook for Two and creator of Dink Cuisine, Alicia Chevatone joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Hey, Alyssa, I'm doing great, thanks. How are you doing? Oh, I'm so good. Uh, I don't know if you were the same way, but you got home from school, you look in the fridge, there's nothing there nothing in air quotes, nothing <laughs> there, so you grab something unhealthy. But you have a fun and tasty snack idea for us. Um, talk to us about your apple nachos. Apple nachos, I mean, it just sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it's so easy. Honestly, when I come home from school, when I did come home from school, I always chose apples and peanut butter, so mm. I've got a fun riff on that. We start with very thinly sliced apple, and then we just add nutritious toppings. That's all that is is going on here. So I'm going to add some granola. Mm. We're going to put a few more slices of apple and we're just going to build on this a nutritious step. After that, a little bit of raisin, some more apple slices, and then how about a little bit of shredded coconut? There's a yeah. lot of nutrients in shredded coconut. Put a little bit more on here, but since every great plate of nachos has some great sauce on it, what I did was I stuck some creamy peanut butter in the blender with some milk and put it in a squeeze bottle and we're just going to squeeze that on top and your kids are going to have fun doing this. Oh my gosh, that is a genius <laughs> idea. Yep, yeah, couple of blueberries, an extra few antioxidants for the kids and instead of sour cream, we're going to do some Greek yogurt and mm. put some Greek yogurt and iced olive bread right on top and that is apple nachos. That is so easy, and that's something, too, that you can get the kids to make because they'll have fun making that. So you're not just slaving away to make them a, a healthy after-school snack. It's a healthy after-school snack that they'll want to dig into. That they're going to want to dig into in an interactive activity. Let them select the toppings as long as it's nutritious, unless you're making it for dessert. Maybe some, uh, you know, chocolate chips on there. Mm. But pick out some nutritious toppings and let them sprinkle on, make it fun, and then they get to enjoy it. And like you said, they get to eat it. Yum, really delicious. Okay, besides the obvious excitement with kids going back to school and seeing all their friends again, what, what was the inspiration behind this snack? Well, for me, and, and like I said, you know, apples and peanut butter was my favorite snack as a kid, but I think that anytime you can sneak some fruit into a child's diet for those extra bits of nutrition, apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm. So uh, that was pretty much the inspiration, other than just loving creamy peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> what if we ran out of apples at home? What else can we throw from our fruit bowl? You know, it, th those are perishable items, but maybe we should change the name of this to just fruit nachos because you can make this with bananas, you can make it with pears. But my recommendation, in case you don't have any fruit in the fruit bowl, keep some apple chips on hand, maybe oh. some dehydrated fruit. This would work great for that. Even some graham crackers, which do have a little bit of sugar, uh, but dehydrated fruit is a great alternative. Okay, that is great to know. Alicia Chevatone, Italian cookbook for two, also a dink cuisine. You can follow her there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I can't wait to donate to SOS. Oh, thank you so much, Alicia. Appreciate that.